As of tonight, I-70 through Glenwood Canyon has been closed for a week. This was I-70 after widespread mudslides. Up to 10 feet of rock and mud had to be scraped off. Well, today, it looks like this. They've done a lot of work. The road is a lot better, nearly clear from that debris, at least one lane in each direction. It's all piled up now along the side of the interstate. Guardrails and some spots of the infrastructure are badly damaged. The northern detour up through Steamboat Springs is still in place, and that is the detour the state patrol is hoping drivers take. But some more adventurous drivers have opted to take Cottonwood Pass. Be advised the route is only partly paved and has patches of very narrow road and steep drop offs. That is not recommended. CBS 4's Jamie Leary live tonight in Summit County. And Jamie, you took the route over Cottonwood to get home. We did, Jim, and I thought it was pretty smooth, but we found out this afternoon that the news vehicle has a leak in one of the tires. It is for this reason and the fact that this road cannot handle as much traffic as it's been seen that they do not want you to use this as a detour, and the same goes for Independence Pass. Luckily, that northern detour, which starts here in Silverthorne, is not that bad, and we saw firsthand, but you might want to get used to it for the foreseeable future. In months to get this a section back to where it was. There is significant damage to the east and west of the Hanging Lake Trail. A couple of the heavier rains that just brought down a tremendous amount of material. Near mile marker 123 is where the most structural damage occurred. It wiped out the eastbound lanes while taking a chunk of the west lanes and its support beams along with it. This is definitely going to be a, a big challenge for us to, to be able to reopen this section anytime soon. The amount of debris? It's hard to tell, but you know, this little drainage took thousands of tons of material with it. Um, huge boulders, huge rocks, and, and that's what did most of the damage was carrying those great big boulders. West of the Hanging Lake Trail near the Devil's Gulch area, the Amtrak bridge is no longer as high off the ground as it once was. Bridge is probably 30, 40 feet above ground, and now it's you know, just a few feet above ground. There was so much debris, it physically altered the path of the Colorado River here. It absolutely diverted it right to it, right against the retaining wall eastbound and over the bike path. CDOT is working to find a temporary fix to get the canyon open, but engineers still don't know the full extent of the damage. Until we can get it all uncovered and the engineers to really look at how much damage there is exactly, then we'll be able to tell more when, when we could be able to get in and, and get it fully reopened. CDOT was asked earlier this week if there was a cost estimate for all of that damage. They said, well, it was too, too, too soon to tell. It's easily in the tens of millions of dollars. Reporting live from Silverthorne, Jamie Leary, CBS 4 Mountain Newsroom. All right, Jamie, thank you.